So visualizing data requires to turn data into marks on a canvas. What kind of marks make the most sense, right? One answer lies in the pre-attentive attributes. Things that our brains process in milliseconds before we pay even attention to everything else. Let's look at the example here. How many nines are there? So how did you do? Okay, how did you find out how many nines do you see here? It's easy to answer the question. Look at all the values and count the nines, right? But it takes quite a long time. Let's make one change to the grid and make it easier for you. Okay, so now the task is easy, right? Why? Because I changed the colors. The nines are red and all the other numbers are in light gray. So color differences pop out. Color is one of several pre-attentive attributes. So we look at the scene in front of us or a child, we process these attributes in under 250 milliseconds. Let's have a look at another pre-attentive attribute. Okay. So the nines are now, um, um, now uh, yeah, uh, uh, in a, at, a, at a different size than the other numbers. So size and hue are two very powerful pre-attentive attributes. So what are pre-attentive attributes and um, what, what they, they do? Okay, so they signal as where to look. Okay, so um, pre-attentive attributes such as size, color and position on page can be used strategically in two ways. Pre-attentive attributes can be leveraged to help direct your audience's attention to where you want them to focus it. And second, they can be used to create a visual hierarchy of elements to lead your audience through the information you want to communicate in the way you want them to process it. So let's, let's have a look into those different pre-attentive attributes. So when we examine data charts, we are relying on pattern-seeking abilities that helped our ancestors even to survive their natural environment. So the subconscious part of our brain, known as System 1, you maybe have come across that, is constantly processing visual stimuli based on various rules or heuristics. Before any focused attention is re required, System 1 gains an initial impression based on various pre-attentive attributes such as color, shape and intensity. So data visualization experts have highlighted the significance of these pre-attentive attributes to inform um, to, to, to information design. If we can understand how perception works, our knowledge can be translated into rules for displaying information. Each of the following examples here uses a single pre-attentive attribute to draw attention to a particular object with a, within a set of objects. So pre-attentive attributes provide us with ways to encode our data in charts. On the slide with the nines, right, the example, we have already seen how powerful the visual system is and look especially at size and hue among the many pre-attentive attributes that exist. Here you will see 12 commonly used pre-attentive attributes in data visualization. Orientation. Okay, length, white, size, shape, curvature, added marks, enclosure, come back to that, color hue, color, uh, color value, color hue, position, and finally special grouping. Okay, so the, the choice for the best or most appropriate visual encoding depends on the data, of course.